Let me bring it back to what's happening here at home and here in Nevada, mm -hmm. Congresswoman, because obviously you are challenging Senator Dean Heller uh, for the 2018 seat there. I want to get you on the record. Did mm -hmm. Harry Reid ask you to run? A lot of people talk to me about running, but I'll tell you the honest truth. No one can talk you into this. It's really hard and you have to want to do it. And so when I thought about why it was important, what was important to, uh, for the state of Nevada, the hardworking families here, how they need a voice, a common sense person who's going to listen to what they worry about at the kitchen table and find smart solutions, that's why I decided to run. And honestly, my daughter, who's 21, looked at me and she said, Mom, I'm so proud of you that you can do this, that you can stand up well, and you can fight for our future. And that is so the core reason I'm doing it, because I look at my daughter and I look at her friends and I look at all of my friends and what they worry about at the kitchen table needs to be heard. It needs to be understood. And that's how we need to legislate well, with common sense. Let me solutions. ask you this. Minute. You mentioned that a lot of people talked to you about it. And I just want to was Harry Reid one of those people? Harry Reid was one of those people. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And doing in terms of we, we change laws. How easy is it to change a law in New York State? Mm -hmm. well, I don't know. But when you're the largest employer and the largest taxpayer in the state of Nevada, we can get laws changed pretty quickly. <laughs> and uh, we regularly do it. Well, and your point's well taken. Vegas is 70 years old, proudly founded, proudly founded by the mob, and the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Cyrus Hojati. So apparently the word about my videos and my messages and my activism is growing so fast that a lot of events I go to, uh, people are able to identify me very, very fast and they're able to ban me from events. So what you have here is an individual, basically the bottom of the barrel when it comes to the whole establishment, Jackie Rosen. And I saw her actually, believe it or not. And the moment I come in, they accuse me of filming the event, which I didn't. The only thing I did is I basically held the telephone in my hand, which I have the right to hold the telephone in my hand because, you know, it doesn't fit in my pocket. But anyway, you have this Jackie Rosen character, a complete shill for the establishment, the establishment that includes the Culinary Workers Union, MGM Resorts, the list goes on. By the way, doesn't surprise me, she's probably good friends with Jim Murin. So, complete open borders, complete identity BS, complete pumping of useless government departments, all designed to cater the votes of these individuals, particularly women and feminists, designed to destroy and manipulate this country. This is what's wrong with America. These people who are basically inside this building don't care about the American people, don't really care so much about the Constitution, and so what they do is they try to ban other voices, just other voices that are different from the establishment. And so as you can see here, what you have is basically it's a South Asian network uh, political alliance meeting. And it's pretty sad. You had a lot of uh, Asian Americans, particularly Indian Americans, that were promoting this woman. Now, what's utterly disgusting is that they haven't learned from individuals like Dinesh D'Souza. But another thing, of course, is the fact that, believe it or not, that they are the ones who are subsidizing the lifestyle of third world immigrants. They are the ones that are basically giving out all the taxpayer handouts. Because Indian Americans make one of the most in any other ethnic group in America, and they subsidize these third world immigrants. But again, Jackie Rosen is playing lies and deception to basically cater these voters and everything else. So what's disgusting is that this woman is not even holding events open to the public. They don't hold them in libraries. They don't hold them in anywhere else. They just hold them in private events. And of course, there's very little do you can stop it because these people are pumped lots of money into campaigns. This is why you are not getting good politicians in office. And again, they silence the voices. They don't let you put yourself out open to the public. So what do you guys think? Should I confront her when she leaves the building? That's something I can do. Now, right now, of course, I'm standing on a public sidewalk. This is Sahara and Decatur intersection. So maybe perhaps I can confront her while she leaves the building. 
And again, they really can't call the cops because, you know, I'm not on their own actual property. I'm on the property of the strip mall. But again, she's an elected official. I have the right to talk to her because I'm spending a lot of money on her bloated taxpayer funded salary. So there you have it, folks, ladies and gentlemen. Basically, what you have is another tool establishment of the Democratic Party named Jackie Rosen. She is largely running on identity BS, identity nonsense, just to somehow attract certainly people of color, immigrants, women, especially who are feminists, all these different kinds of people, LGBT, they want to pump up useless government programs like Obamacare and other welfare systems that often promote dependency. That is what she is running on. That is her platform. That is who she's targeting. And this is a problem because, of course, the issue is that she gets away from the more important issues that is facing this country. That is the flaw of the Democratic Party. Just basically use people like their prey, to attract them as magnets, and then screw them as well as the entire country and the world. And I just have to say that you have to know the truth in society. The problem is with many of these candidates and many of these activists, they run based on feelings, on emotions. They don't really run on the basis of necessarily th the facts, even though it's harmful at first, but it's better to know sooner before the bubble really pops and hits your face. So let me tell you of who this woman, Jackie Rosen, really, really is. She is funded by a pack called Emily's List that's trying to pump up women. Now, if you're wondering why there's so many women running for office, it's because of this pack largely called Emily's List. And who funds Emily's List? Do, 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 let me guess. George Soros, probably one of the most dangerous people on earth. And he funds a wide variety of organizations. Just Google the Open Society Institute. And believe it or not, Jackie Rosen had a fundraiser in the state of California. Guess what? It's pretty evident that she wants to turn this state into California, my city into Los Angeles. They are continuing this process with this massive pumping of immigration. Now, based on what I have actually found out, that Jackie Rosen didn't get any campaign contributions, as far as I know, from MGM Resorts or Jim Murin. I might be wrong, but still, that does not mean that she doesn't have any connections, because they probably likely do, and she even admits that she was handpicked by Harry Reid to run for Congress, as well as recently the Senate. That's what this is all about. If you think Harry Reid is gone forever, think again, because he's back, and he's probably going to be even stronger than ever, and it's our job to stop it. And of course, she's probably going to be catering to groups like the Culinary Workers Union. So if they have a strike, she's going to be out there. And I might confront her, believe it or not. But anyway, the point is, is that I believe that very likely she got elected in that congressional district, which includes the city of Henderson and much of the southwest part of the Las Vegas Valley, largely through fraud. I do believe that there was manipulation in the electronic voting and, and the vote counts. And it's probably very likely that other people from other states or other countries were bused in to vote in the polling stations. And of course, I've heard a lot of reports at polling stations there was a lot of out-of-state license plates. I mean, we really don't have a system, to be honest with you. I just voted, believe it or not, yesterday to check and really found out that if this is a really valid, valid process. If you actually really live in that place, if you actually are a citizen, believe it or not. And speaking of citizen, I think we need to pass, for heaven's sakes, the citizenship question. We need This will expand District 1, which covers Dinas Titus's, expands out to 3 and 4. And what that means is that we're going to have candidates that truly represent the citizen population. By the way, if they do pass that, I don't think that the state will add a congressional seat because... You're talking about two, three hundred thousand non-legals that are in the country, depending on how much you include them. You know, if you include TPS people, if you include green card holders, anchor babies, this is pretty much the effect. And believe it or not, here's the thing about you, Jackie Rosen, out of all of the candidates that's running for office in this state that I really do not want to win is you. 
Because at least Sizzlack, Chris G, Amy Valella, many others, like Michael Robertson, they may have some bright sides, but you hardly have any bright sides. At least Democrats like Amy Valella, Ruben De Silva, which I will do a video about them pretty soon, or Bobby, or Jesse, who's also running for Senate as Democrats, they're not as flawed as you. But you can do it because you have the campaign contributions and everything else, believe it or not. And, you know, what's so disgusting is that you don't even talk about the most important issues, the very valid issues that the Democrats are better known about. You really don't talk about, for example, the rising income inequality. I've hardly seen you post any Facebooks about it. The rich keep getting richer. Everybody keeps lagging on about the fact that we need to put, impose a maximum wage. Amy supports that. You don't really talk much about Wall Street corruption, breaking up the banks, the Federal Reserve. You don't talk about the oligarchies, how few companies keep controlling basically everything. You don't talk about the outsourcing epidemic, as far as I know. You hardly ever talk about the need for public financing of elections as true campaign finance reform. And of course, on a lot of other issues, you're a disaster. Second Amendment, family values, along with this Me Too feminist garbage movement. And of course, more importantly, you're a Trojan horse for immigration. You want people who didn't follow our laws to stay, where many of them don't have a good excuse of staying in the country. You don't believe the fact that American citizens should be put first. You have labor force participation rates that's lower than it was decades ago, especially for males and for the youth. We have public schools that are overcrowding. We have basically crime incidents that people have been deported out of the country several times. And you don't want to address these issues. You don't even want to debunk these claims, at least try to. You just say, oh, I support TPS and DACA, which is pretty evident that you spend too much time about it. And you're desperately crying for votes. You're desperately crying for support. And you're not really in support of DACA because you have a good heart. It supports your greater master plan, Harry Reid agenda. That's what this is really, really about. And I don't know what's your whole immigration plan. Maybe you just want to flood millions of people flooding into this country overnight. And, and again, you, you probably are good friends with the same masterminds in Europe, which is a similar process being done in London and Berlin. It's very, very simple in my opinion. Okay? I mean, who knows? You probably want radical Muslims. You're working with CARE, to, which is funded by Jim Murin, by the way. So maybe they can put public housing next to my house. Radical Islam, bringing a hell of a lot of crime. Is that what you want? Look at the facts, ladies and gentlemen. And the facts is, I do have the facts. And many of your followers and your supporters like how they try to ban me from entering the event, even though I saw you for about a minute, they didn't want me to go in. I just go in and they just accuse me of filming, which I wasn't, but the people knew who I was and they know I'm exposing your lies, your scams, your ripoffs. All right? And they are panicking. But unfortunately, you have a large number of people that are following the people like sheep. They don't seem to really wake up. They don't seem to be aware of what the hell is going on. The media, especially mouthpieces like The Sun and all these other mouthpieces out there, MSNBC, CNN, continues to mislead the public. And guess what? They get trapped. They get basically screwed, which I believe is the number one enemy of the American people. Continue to distract, but I think... The real problem is, ladies and gentlemen, is the people of the Las Vegas Valley. They need to stand up. They need to do some door knocking. They need to spread the word. I went out there and walked around Lone Mountain. I was talking to people about stuff like this. Folks, you need to start taking action. Get off the football so much. Start getting out there, knock on doors, and prevent this woman from being elected. And by the way, I'm not using this video as a way to support Dean Heller, he is also heavily flawed. And by the way, I'm not too pleased, I'm kind of suspicious about Danny Tarkanian, how he dropped up. But anyway, Dean Heller, he's not been effective on the issues of income inequality, Wall Street corruption, Federal Reserve, trade policy. He has not been effective on immigration, I see some of his associates trying to help people stay in the country regarding DACA and TPS. 
He hasn't talked much about legal immigration. I don't even know if she supports the RAISE Act. So he's not that effective. And at the end of the day, it's an illusion of choice. At the end of the day, Dean Heller also got campaign contributions from Jim Murin, MGM Resorts, as well as other folks in the area like Sheldon Adelson of Sands. And I believe he also has ties to the Koch brothers as well. Because it's not just Soros and Steyer and so forth. You have to attack people all over the entire enchilada. If you look at one-sided, and by the way, you are still getting partial truth from media outlets, so-called alternative from the Young Turks and Alex Jones, you need to get a larger picture of what's going on. This is an illusion of choice, ladies and gentlemen, and we must fight to get better candidates into office. And if we don't, let's take to the streets. Let's fight back. What are you guys waiting for? You have to do massive protests. It's showtime, baby. Spread this video. Thank you so much. Take care. It is a cool day right now in the low 70s, but we're going to be getting a heat wave or something like that pretty soon. Take care.